Hello, happy Friday. Yay. Um, yeah, so we can go ahead and open our Advents. Um, oh, first I'll tell you the sweater I'm wearing is my Yule Grin. Um, it was designed by Andy Satterland. Let me show you the tree. See, there's my little Christmas tree and I used little pastel pom-poms for the ornaments on it. I can't remember what they had on the original. Was it buttons or some other kind of decorations? But I used little pom-poms. So um, yeah, I love this sweater. It's a few years old now. Gosh, it might be close to like five years old now. I can't remember, but I just love this sweater. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and open our Advents. See what we got on Friday, Alfie. These two hive yarns. Ooh, it's kind of mustardy golden with little brown specks. Lovely. And this is Queen of the Bees. I can see that. Lovely. Put that out of Alfie's reach. And now the dandelion and dogwood. Ooh. Oh, it's so delicate. It's called Miss Marple. Oh, I love that. Look at how delicate. Tiny tinges of peachy pink, lavender, and a little bit of like a light brown, like tannish beige, I guess. Oh, I adore that. That is lovely. I like that a lot. Oh, so who's ready for the weekend? I am. Looking forward to that very much. Now, um, someone asked what sweater I was wearing yesterday. I'll reply directly to the comment too, just so I'm sure that you see it. It was my other Whitmore, my first Whitmore by um, Amy Loudon that I made. It um, was knit in Dandelion and Dogwood's Maybe Baby colorway, and it is DK weight. So the two options for the pattern are either to knit it in DK weight or um, fingering held with lace fluffy yarn. So of course my second one I made, uh, which I think I wore that on the second. On December 2nd? Was it the 3rd? I can't remember. But anyway, that's that was the one that I um, did the fingering yarn with um, lace weight held together, the mohair yarn. So um, yeah, making some progress. Just finishing up the um, poppies and cornflowers. I am on the very last row of it where it's being faded into the next color. So the next is cyanide and it is ready to go. So um, yeah, I imagine I'll make some good progress on this over the weekend and probably even get caught up to where I can just knit um, the color of the day each night. So I am just using them in order. Um, I'm halfway wondering if I really like the two yellows right next to each other. So don't think I'm crazy, but I could almost see myself ripping back and switching that up a little bit, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's almost kind of fun to like, just have it be a surprise what the next color is rather than planning it. But I don't know if like that big block of yellow is going to bother me. Um, so we'll see. I really like this whole section. I love this. Um, and then that is a big change, but you know, that's fine. But it's just the two yellows together that I'm not quite sure about. Maybe just have to wait and see, um, as more is added, if that's going to bother me or not. Um, but yeah, so Friday, um, probably gonna roll out my cookies tonight. Um, Alfie just took off with Miss Marple. That's a very funny statement. Pardon me. Okay, I rescued Miss Marple from Arthur. Oh, Arthur. 
Alfie's clutches. So, um, what were we talking about? Cookies. I'm going to roll out those cookies tonight. Um, so they're kind of an interesting recipe. There's no egg. Um, it's almost more like a shortbread, but you want, well, you can roll out and cut out shortbread too, but we'll see how they turn out. I love shortbread. So if they're like that, I'd be into that, but, um, hello, I'm busy, go away. Um, oh, someone had also asked about the butter I used, why, what sweet cream butter is, and I, don't knock over the phone again, Alf, Alfie, um, it's just regular old butter, I had to look it up, um, if there's a difference between sweet cream butter and regular butter, and I guess sweet cream just means that the cream used to make the butter was fresh, not like aged or cultured or anything like that. So I guess that's a thing. Like in Europe, they will culture the cream before making butter and it'll give it more of like a tangy flavor, I guess. But yeah, so it's just regular old butter made with fresh cream is all that that means. I'll reply to that comment as well, just in case you don't see this. But yeah, so good question. I, I didn't know, so I had to look that up. Um, and then, yeah, so this weekend, hoping to do some more baking, maybe make those other two cookies I was telling you about, and then um, hoping to do some shopping as well, because, um, you know, I'm able to go back out amongst people again, so that's nice. Um, so I want to do my thrift store rounds. Um, and if I do any of this, I'll take you guys along, of course. Although I might get shy in the stores. Like, I don't know if that would be awkward. But we'll see. I might be brave. But, um, yeah, so hoping to get a latte at my favorite um, local coffee shop. Do my thrift store rounds. And I need to go to Target. I want to go to Hobby Lobby and... Home goods. Oh, I already told you that. But yeah, those other things are added to that list. So we'll see what actually happens. But here's hoping. Um, yeah, so today, um, just got to finish up the work day. So far, so good. It's been a nice day. Nothing too stressful has happened, which is always a blessing. Um, yeah, well, we will catch you later. Um, so talk to you again soon. Of course you stop once I get the camera out. <laughs> Go jingle jingle again. Jingle jingle. Happy mail today. I got this beautiful book, Romantic Crochet by Emma Escott. She is um, Lulu Loves. And also she has, she's doing Vlogmas this year too. I haven't been able to watch it yet but I need to watch that but look just at what a look there's Emma oh she's so beautiful look at this lovely lovely book so many pretty things I don't know what to make first and I feel like crochet is my most neglected craft so I think this should breathe some life into that so isn't that so much fun I just love it Oh, I do love a pretty book. Yes, I do.